If you have watched some of our other video tutorials, you will know that you have the opportunity to use the ReaStim 2 without the Motomed as a standalone device in a mode called Sequence Training. To do this, please create or select a user and press the appropriate button for a new profile. Then, press the first button on the right to create a sequence training program. Turn the knob in the next window to choose between the parts of the body which should be stimulated. In the next step, you have to choose between percent and second mode. Use the third button on the right or the third button on the left. Your choice will be marked in green. Percent sequence training includes all the templates for gait training or FES walking in percentages according to the natural gait phases in a complete gait cycle. Second sequence training includes templates in seconds, defining the start and duration of each single muscle stimulation in seconds. By pressing the next button, you will be forwarded to the trigger selection. Select the trigger using the knob. If you have software version 2.3.2 .2 or lower, you can choose between automatic and manual trigger using the ReaStim 2 buttons. For external triggers, you can choose between external single trigger and external double trigger. You also had the option to choose different equipment related to your external trigger selection. You could either use an external single trigger or an external double trigger as hardware. For further information regarding sequence training applications, please see our video tutorial Sequence Training Overview for an example of sequence training applications. Starting from software version 2.3.3, you can use the external double trigger as a single trigger by pressing just one button on the trigger itself. The stop button on the external double trigger acts as an emergency stop button during a sequence training session. Please note, the external double trigger hardware is only available for the ReaStim 2 unit with a grey connector. Perhaps you're now wondering if you can use the updated software version if you have a ReaStim 2 unit with a red connector. Don't worry, you can. In this case, you just choose the single trigger option in the appropriate sequence training screen and use your single trigger hardware exactly as before with the new software. You could also update a ReaStim 2 unit with the red connector to software version 2.4.1 and benefit from the new and channel specific features for ReaMove applications. The external trigger options are identical as for software version 2.3.3. For specific information on software version 2.4.1, please see the tutorial FES Software What's New in Version 2.4.1.